Nation, it's Jasmine and I'm back for part two of our money saving series. So if you did not catch the first video, it's basically how I saved $1,160 and I will leave that link below and it'll also be in a playlist. Today's video is actually going to be a tips and tricks video of how to save money even if you're on a small budget. So if you're interested, please continue to watch. Once again, I'm going to start by saying this. I am not an accountant. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not any of those things. I'm just a regular, regular, regular girl out here trying to live her best life, but also save coins. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, I'm just going to share with you guys some tips and tricks that I've learned on the way to help you save some of your money. I am guilty of just spending and splurging and buying crap that I don't need. I work night shift. So on nights that I don't work, I find myself at like 3 o'clock in the morning buying random crap on Amazon or buying makeup that I don't need, buying hair products that I don't need. What I've started to do is just budget. So budget video is going to be coming. That is going to be the next video. So make sure that you're subscribed and you don't leave. But today's video is just going to be things that you can do in your everyday life to help save a little bit of money because best believe me, a little bit of money goes a long way. So the first tip is going to be save 10% of what you make. So this is a tip that I actually learned in my 12th grade economics class. I had a teacher who was so mean. But he was actually really real and he tried to prepare us for a real adult life. But at that point, like we were already seniors, everything that was going in one ear was out of the other ear. And the main thing that stuck with me was 10% of what you make is yours to keep. You have to pay yourself first before you pay anybody. So I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, what? Yes, even if you have like a 401k or Roth RA or anything that you're putting into retirement, that's good, that's golden, that's fine. But 10% of what you make is yours to keep it should automatically be deducted out of your checkings account to your savings account before you ever see your money. That way, you, what you don't see, you don't miss. For the years, that money will continue to add up, stack up. You should always pay yourself before you pay your bills. Before you go and buy clothes or shoes or makeup or jewelry or hair or you out here trying to be an Instagram baddie, make sure that you're paying yourself first before you try to put on this facade that you're trying to share to the world, okay sis? 10% of what you make should always be yours to keep. So if you make $1,000 per paycheck, you should put $100 in your savings account. If you are making $400 a paycheck, you should put $40 in your, your savings account every month. Even if you are putting money into a retirement account, you should still be having 10% of your paycheck going to a savings account. So that's tip one. So tip two is going to be a, regarding the same savings account. If you are like me, you can get a little transfer happy. Like, oh, I kind of overspent out of my checkers account this paycheck. Let me just send some from my savings account to my checking. To keep yourself from doing that, Set up a savings account that you don't have a debit card to or is not connected directly to your checking account. So, say if you have Wells Fargo, that is where your direct deposit to your paycheck go. Set up like a Chase or a Navy Federal that is just a savings account only and you don't have a debit card to, you don't have checks to, and in order to get that money out, you have to go to the bank. Because that's going to make you sit down and think, do I actually really need to take this money out of my savings account? If it's a true emergency, yes. But if it is for like a bag or to go get your nails and your toes done, you don't really need to be touching that money. And that's something that you can wait until your next paycheck and you have the budget for. So try to keep that account non-accessible unless you go to the bank. The third tip is going to be take out cash for what you want to be your allowance for spending. So say you've already paid all your bills, all that stuff is covered and you want to have just spending money. Make your spending money cash because it is always harder to give somebody cash than it is to swipe your card. So if you're shopping, B, I am guilty of going and buying like Adidas sweatpants, Nike tights because y'all know Nike and Adidas is expensive. It is harder for me to give them $60 of cash versus it is for me to see $60 and I just swipe my card or put my chip in and pay $60 for one item. So make your spending money cash 
once you're out of your spending money and then you have no more spending money into your next paycheck so that makes you actually reevaluate like the things that you're spending your money on so the next tip is going to be back to with your spending money say if you have budgeted like three hundred dollars for spending money for your first paycheck and three hundred dollars spending money for your second paycheck so say your first paycheck you only spend one hundred dollars instead of rolling the next that two hundred dollars over into your spending money with your next paycheck so that way you have five hundred dollars worth of spending money take that two hundred dollars and put it into your savings account don't have it as spending money because then you're like oh i have five hundred dollars i can just go blow money on something stupid or i'm bored or i'm in a bad mood or i'm sad so i'm gonna go and do some retail therapy make sure your spending money is always the same every paycheck and whatever you have left over put it into your savings account and then the very last tip is going to be keep all of your change if you are anything like me i hate change i hate coins i hate pennies i hate nickels i hate quarters i hate having change it is just one of those things that i just feel like it makes my wallet weigh a ton so one thing that we have always done is we have a coin jar we have a change jar so at the end of every day my husband puts his change down on the table i have change in my wallet we just throw all of the change into the coin jar every time we move to a different duty station we turn in all of those coins if you're not like us and you're not in the military maybe at the end of every month or every three months or every year then take that coin or once your coin jar gets full take your coin jar to a coin slot thing i don't know what it's called it's the thing where you dump all your <laughs> where you dump all of your coins into and then you get cash for it when i tell you that adds up literally every single duty station we get about 300 dollars back just from coins you don't think that your coins can equal that much until you actually trade it in for actual cash and it'll start to add up so keep all of your spare change keep it in a coin jar once it gets full or every year every six months if you're like us every duty station go change it in for cash and then put that money towards your savings account those are all of the tips that i have for you guys as easy way to save money no matter what your budget is everybody's budget is a little bit different everybody's paychecks are a little bit different but all of these rules tips and tricks can apply to you so get out here live your best life do what you gotta do but also make sure that you're doing it responsibly and that you're saving money in cases of emergencies or you know when shit hits the fan okay so if you guys have any comments questions or concerns feel free to leave it below in the comment box make sure to like this video as well as subscribe to my channel before you leave that is absolutely free and until the next video don't forget to stay bossed up and conquer bye, bye.